Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back to the program. Here we are in the advanced portion now for all you advanced students, advanced class five. All right, so um, we're going to start by taking a look at numbers. Numbers up to a million. This is a review, the review of what we saw yesterday. And uh, I'm sorry, up to, up to a billion Actually, we can, we can talk about numbers up to a billion. So what you have to remember here is that un billion is not a billion. Uh, because, because a billion in English is mil million. Okay, so remember, we never say a thousand million. We do not say a thousand million, we say a billion. And when you say un billion, we say a trillion. Okay, so a billion has nine zeros. And a million, of course, just like Spanish, un million, has six zeros. Okay, a few rules here for numbers in case you missed yesterday's program. We don't put an S on million, billion, trillion, thousand, or hundred. It, except for when we say there are millions and millions of people. For example, hay millones y millones de, de gente. But in English, we don't say, we can't say two millions. No, we'd say two million, okay? But I'm sure you know that. Another thing, of course, remember when you're writing the numbers to use a comma, not a point, to separate the numbers, okay? And uh, we always say the word and after hundred. So we have hundred and, one hundred and... 23, 256, 567, for example. Okay, so it's not very difficult if you think of the numbers in groups of three, uh, groups of three digits, okay? Groups of three digits. So we start with, uh, let, let's say, one, two, three, 123, and then if that's the, the number of thousands, we would say 123,000, again, no S, thousand, 456, for example. So, hundred and, hundred and. We're not saying thousand and, okay? We're saying hundred and. So, when we do these number dictations on television, when you're watching the show, Inglés 4.0, when you're watching the show, you'll see... Uh, you, you'll you'll have you'll see that that the student is writing down the the numbers often on the little white board, and you'll see that, and uh, you'll notice that after we say the word thousand, that's when you put the comma and you move to the next column of numbers or the next group of three digits. Okay, so I could have a number one billion. 275,342,678. So pay attention to where I put the word and. Okay? The other important thing we saw with numbers is the intonation. Very important. I've mentioned this before and I'll mention it again. The intonation of 16 and 60. Da da. Da da. Okay, the, the, the stress, when I'm talking about teens, the stress falls on the second syllable. When I'm talking about numbers ending in 10, or no, sorry, numbers ending in 0, 60, 70, right, multiples of 10, then the stress falls on the first syllable, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now, as I often do, yes, I am exaggerating. I'm exaggerating, but... Uh, if you're reading numbers to a British person or an American person on the telephone, you've got to... I recommend that you exaggerate this pronunciation a little bit, and I promise you they will always understand the numbers that you're saying. All right? Okay. So now I want to talk about the verb to take. To take and and last as well, because these are sometimes confused. Um, if you're a regular listener of Vaughn Radio, you may have heard that my other program called The Verb Circus. And in fact, I remember hosting a show in which I talked about 
take versus last, and we compare the differences. Um, and how long does something? How how long does it take? Cuanto tarda tardar to take? Okay, how long does it take? Whereas last is durar. So very often we use the verb to last when we're talking about things that we enjoy, like a football match. I'm sitting there in the stadium. Ooh, how how long does the match last? How long will the will the movie last? Okay, but when I say how long does it take, I have to go to the dentist. How long will this take? How long will this take? I, I can't wait until it's over. How long will it take? Okay, so it's important to think about this. Uh, remember, tardar. How long does it take? Okay, how long does it take to learn a language? It's a very interesting question. How long does it take to learn a language? It depends when what, what you consider learning a language, because really uh, to, to learn a language, you know, we're never perfect. No one is perfect at any language. Uh, there's always something more to learn. But to be able to communicate, um, you know, to, to be able to communicate effectively, uh, it doesn't take that long. But it's always important to keep striving for more, to improve. Okay, how long does it take to how long does it take to wash the dishes? It takes. Well, it takes me. Okay, how long does it take to wash the dishes? It takes. Mm, it takes I don't know fifteen minutes to wash the dishes. How long does it take me to wash the dishes? It takes me fifteen minutes. How long does it take to drive to Barcelona? So be careful here. How long does it take? Well, it takes five hours, I suppose. I, I don't know. What do you think at home? How long does it take to drive to Barcelona? Maybe it takes five hours. How long does it take me to drive to Barcelona? Ask me. Ask me at home. Kyle, how long does it take you to drive to Barcelona? Well, it takes me six hours. Why? Because it, it takes me six hours because I have a slow car. Okay, my car doesn't go very fast. How long does it take? It takes five hours. How long does it take me? It takes me six hours. So when we say how long does it take, we're speak we're saying you know in general, how long does it take most people to do something? All right. <laughs> expression of the day. Oh yeah, there you heard it. All right, the expression of the day. It's time for our expression of the day today, which is. To dodge the bullet. To dodge the bullet, which is essentially to avoid something dangerous or risky. So if we run a serious risk, correr riesgos, to run risks. If we run a risk by putting ourselves in a dangerous situation, but then in the end we don't have a problem, we could say, ooh, I, I dodged the bullet. Ooh. I, d I could have gotten in trouble, but luckily I dodged the bullet. I dodged, to, to dodge, I dodged the bullet. To dodge is to, to, to move out of the way and to avoid something. So if uh, in, in football, when a defender is running towards the player with the ball, the player with the ball will often try to dodge out of the way of the tackler, of the, of the defender. Okay, so to dodge the bullet. Imagine someone shoots a gun, there's a bullet coming, and I move out of the way. I've just dodged the bullet. We take this and we form this expression to dodge the bullet to avoid a potentially disastrous situation. To dodge the bullet. That's our expression of the day. All right. Moving along. Here we are. Class five, ladies and gentlemen. Class five. We're talking about the verb to take again. A little, a little, not, not a review now. We're, we're moving ahead with the idea of the future. How long will it take? How long will it take you to finish this course? How long will it take you to finish this course? How long will it take me to finish this show? Ask me. Ask me that question. Kyle, how long will it take you to finish this show? Well, it will take me not very long. It will only take me about 10 more minutes to finish this show. How long does it take me to finish the show? Well, it takes me an hour to finish the show. It takes me an hour to, to, to do the show, to record the show. It will take me 10 more minutes to finish the show. Okay? 
Now, if I leave Madrid at 6, and I think I can arrive in Barcelona at uh, 11, how long will it take? How long will it take? Say this out loud. It will take 5 hours. 6 to 11. It will take 5 hours. But in my car, you know that I know that my car is a little bit slow. So if I leave at 6, according to what I said before, what time will I arrive in Barcelona? My car, I told you, I already told you that it takes me six hours to get to Barcelona. So if I leave at six, how long will it take me? Well, it will take me six hours, regardless of what time I leave. But what time will I arrive? Well, if it takes me six hours, I will arrive in Barcelona at 12, right? How long will it take me? How long will it take me? Now, if I can leave here at 6 and get to Segovia at 7.30, how long will it take me? At home. Repeat out loud. And both alta. This is for you too. Not just, the, not, not just the intermediate and beginner students at home. All you advanced students, I want you out loud, right? En both alta. That's the way you learn. How long will it take me to get to Segovia? It will take me an hour and a half. This is a, okay, this is a genuine question for you, folks, from me, Kyle Miller, to you. How long will it take me to learn perfect Spanish? I'm working on it. I'm doing my best. You, you hear me? That's right. I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a giddy. I, I make the typical giddy mistakes, but how long will it take me to learn perfect Spanish? How long will it take me? What's your answer? If you, you can even email me and tell me that, an answer to that question if you want. That would, that would make my day if you send me an email. Through the website, of course. Through the website, uh, bauganingles.com. Through your account. And say, give me the answer. How long will it take me to learn perfect Spanish? I don't know. I'll wait for your answers. Okay. How long will it take Fernando Alonso to win again? Right? He's going to have a new car next year. How long will it take him to win again? He's won before. Can he win again? I don't know. Now, um, notice how I talked about going to Segovia from 6 to 7.30, an hour and a half, I said. Now, this is something in your student manual. Pay attention in the st- or student guide, I should say. At the bottom of the, 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 the section, there's an interesting point there about the pronunciation and there's real, you know, there are official rules for pronunciation. And then we have real pronunciation. Now, my concern for you is real English. I don't want, you know, I, I always tell my students this. You don't want to speak like a robot. You want to speak like a native speaker. You don't want to speak like Shakespeare. You want to speak like a native speaker. And native speakers, just like it says in your student guide, we say, instead of saying one and a half, we say one and a half. One and a half hours. So say this with me. One and a half hours. Or an hour and a half. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Three and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Repeat with me. Repeat with me. Four and a half hours. So it's like I'm saying Anna, like like the female name Anna. I will I would like to actually dedicate this part of the show to all the listeners named Anna. This is for you, Anna. And I'm going to spend a minute and a half talking about it. Anna. A minute and a half. 3 and a half hours. 4 and a half hours. Repeat, repeat. And I don't I don't want to hear any D. You know, your your um well in English we don't have a we don't have a royal academy like you do in Spanish. But if we did, it would probably tell you to say and a half. But I'm gonna tell you to speak real English. That's what I want. I want I want you to speak real English. Repeat. One and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Three uh, faster. Three and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Five and a half hours. Six and a half hours. Seven and a half hours. Okay, I wasn't really watching the clock, but I think I probably, I have probably spent about a minute and a half 
talking about this. So it's time to move on. Vocabulary of the day. Yeah, you heard it. Vocabulary of the day. Okay, sugerencia. In English, how do you say this? You've got your guide there. You've got, you know the word. It's written on the bottom of the page. But but with it, without looking, sugerencia. Suggestion. Good. I would like to give you a suggestion. I would like to make. To make a suggestion. Never do. Make a suggestion. I would like to make a suggestion. If you'd like to make a suggestion for something for me to cover on the show, for me to talk about, please feel free to make a suggestion. Bauganingles.com. Log into your account. Send me a question. Ask me questions, please. Transmitir. Yes, that's right. To convey. Now, for any of you at home that said, oh, easy, transmit. Wrong. Not transmit. Very similar. But to transmit in English, in reality, we, we use transmit typically with electronic signals or broadcasting. This, this radio, the radio program is transmitting. It's being transmitted. It's being broadcast. Okay? To transmit. But to transmitir is to convey, okay? To convey a message. To say a message, to deliver a message so that it is understood. We have a phrasal verb which is to get across. But you have to get something across. It is a separable phrasal verb. So to get your point across, to get your message across, my boss is very good at getting his point across across. When he speaks, I understand what he's saying. I understand what he wants. Okay? Champignones. That's right. Mushrooms. No problem. Mushrooms. Repeat. Mushrooms. Mutuo. Yes. Mutual. Mutual. Questionario. Questionnaire. 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 Good job. All right. Very good. All right, guys, let's let's carry on a little bit more with the verb to take, asking me some questions, questions, questions. It's so important that you know how to form the interrogative properly, okay? So ask me how long it will take me to get home tonight. Ask me, Kyle, how long will it take you to get home tonight? Very good. Ask me how long it will take me to get to Barcelona. How long will it take you to get to Barcelona? Very good. Ask me how long it will take me to find Alberto in the radio station. How long will it take you to find Alberto in the radio station? Very good. So remember the question structure, changing the word order. How long will it take you to find Alberto? You want to know how long it will take me to find Alberto. Okay? Okay. How long will it take? Very good. Okay, do you remember the expression of the day? To dodge the bullet. To dodge the bullet. All right, guys, that's we're, we're completely out of time. Remember, if you have any questions, send them to me through the website, and we will review every, every day. I will, I will give you feedback. I will answer your questions here on the program if I have any. So write in. I'm here to help you. Okay, that's all. See you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.